Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Spectre and I'm going to do a little tutorial here in After Effects. What we're going to talk about today is uh, the scope overlays that I do where when the sniper zooms in you can see you know weird shit or whatever picture I decide to put around it. So I got uh, my main clip and a comp down here and I got my image. I'm going to drag it and drop it down. Uh, the first thing you want to do is train, change the uh, transfer mode to lighten so you can see underneath. And I want to make this circle on the outside fit around the scope properly. So we're going to hit S for scale. And then you can just drag that up until it looks like it's right on the edge. Uh, next thing you want to do is create a mask around that so we can hide the internal part. So we got the little ellipse tool right here. And you can just hold down your left mouse button to bring up all the little options you have here. So we're going to make sure that the ellipse is selected and you want to go back to your arrow key and then just whoops alright there we go I'm just gonna make a circle right there I know it's a little off but make sure you select your um, your image down here go up to the arrow key and just click on the outside edge and then you can just drag the whole thing click out and then you can change each of the points individually. Now as you can see it's kinda some of the edges aren't aren't lining up like, like right there. So what you do is you just drag these little boxes in and that'll make the, the oval smaller or whatever. So you got a good circle right there. Alright, so that looks good. Now what, we need, what we're going to do is uh, turn off the mask, so it's this little button right here. And then change your mask to negative, or subtract. Now you bring down your little mask, uh, uh, enable your control enablers. Uh, and if you go to mask feather, you can adjust it a little bit. Maybe bring the expansion down, or up, if you want it to go the opposite way. But there we go, that looks pretty good. So what we need to do is trim our clip, because it needs to only be for when he's, you know, scoped in. So you just kind of scrub through there, and when you get close, use the page down to go frame by frame. So you get to the first frame. And then you're going to hold Alt and back bracket, and that'll make it so it starts right there. If we go to the frame before, it's not there, and then it is. And it's pretty much a tedious process after this. You just kind of scroll through until it gets to the end. So you can trim it on the back end, and it's not, uh, it's only there when you scoped in. So there's the end there. I'm going to use page up. So I get to the right frame that I need. And this is why editing takes so long, because you just got to do all this shit frame by frame. So alright, so there's the end. We're going to hold Alt and back bracket this time. And it should only show up when he scopes up. Alright, there's a couple more tricks I wanted to show you guys with this. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to mark the beginning and the end of when he's actually scoped in. So there's a little arrow down comp marker. You just slide that over and if you hold shift it will automatically snap to the edge of the clip. And same thing here. I want to get it to the edge of the clip on, on the back end. So I'm going to hold shift. That'll find the, the edge right there. And I can get this holding shift again perfectly lined up. So what this is going to do for us is if we go over here to Arcane Circle we will close the mask and the transforms, transforms open. What this will do is we could say use the rotation tool and I go hold shift go to the beginning and hold shift and go to the end and add another keyframe and then we could change this to 360. So what happens is once it comes across these keyframes it will automatically rotate it the image around. So let's uh, 
we're going to preview this and show you what it looks like. Alright, so here's what we got. Now another thing we could do is, if you noticed when I was changing the mask expansion, it was given like this pulsing effect. So if you want to animate that, what you could do is go to the beginning of the clip. We're going to set the stopwatch for mask expansion. And let's go over just a little bit, say like a quarter, quarter of the way. And we'll have it go back a little bit. Go over just a little bit more. Have it come in just a little bit. And every time you set one of these key frames, it's going to continue to adjust the image every time it comes across whatever setting you have. Go one more time. Go back to the end, hold shift, and there we go, like that. So let's RAM preview this and see what this has done. Okay, let's take a look. And you can see it's just, just real subtle, pulsing up a little bit and going back. Alright, well thanks for watching. I'm going to work on some more for you guys. See ya.